Hi all and welcome to another small land video. Today's topic is Great Trees, a unique feature in the new indie survival game Small Land. In short, while building on ground has its own unique charm, there are a host of special trees in the game that you can claim as your personal and highly secure base of operations. They all come with a majestic view, ton of building space, a personal elevator and a super cool feature, but more on that shortly. Let's start with the basics. While you don't have to claim a tree right away, we did not in our first play session, you will want to soon enough, as it's one of the game's top features. Great trees can easily be recognized due to their massive size and the many mushrooms growing around the tree stem. At the ground level of each great tree there is a platform and a gnome effigy. If you interact with it to make a claim, you will learn that to claim your tree, you will have to climb it first. So, off we go climbing the tree. Once on top, talk to the gnome again to make your claim, and that's it. This is now your personal tree, and as you might already have noticed, there is a balloon elevator waiting on top. This will make access a lot quicker in the future. You can build almost anywhere on this tree. There's a massive open and flat space as seen here, though it's also possible to build towards the edge and even on the branches of the tree. Once claimed, you have a few additional options as well. By default, your tree is private. This means nobody else can build on the tree, destroy your building, open your doors, access your workstations, nor loot your storage containers. However, you can make your tree public. This means that you and your friends can use the elevator, build together, dismantle buildings and workstations, access and share loot containers and so on. A very important point that even might be considered a bug by some players. If you play with friends and enable online play for your server without setting a password, do not set your base to public. Doing so means anyone can join and literally loot all your possessions and destroy your game experience. If a tree is already claimed, you will be told so when interacting with the gnome. So in other words, only one active online person can have a base per tree. You can unclaim a tree. In essence, this will immediately remove your base. There is no danger though, as it's not lost, the base will pop right back up if you claim a tree again. This could for instance be used if you don't want your base accessible when you are not home. Or maybe you and your friend want to trade. While in the same tree, you can unclaim and they can claim to swap between your and your friend's base. You can move your base. Now this is really cool. Let's say your first base is in the starter area. Now you explore other parts of the map and the path home might be getting long. But moving a home is always a hassle, right? No, at least not when it comes to great trees in small land. Simply talk to the gnome at the new tree location and claim it as a base. Voila, your base and all your possessions are now moved. Currently, there is also no need to unclaim the old tree first, and you also don't have to climb the new tree. You can claim it from the gnome at the foot of the tree. So what happens when you log off? Your base will immediately disappear from the game world, safely stored away till you join the game again. Keep this in mind if you are playing with a friend who is hosting the server and you are the owner of the tree, where you both build your base together. If you need a break and your friend would like to continue, your shared base will not be there until you are back. Last but not least, let's say you've been playing alone before some of your friends start up a server and you want to join them with your existing character. It would be annoying to start on that server with nothing, right? Well, using this feature you can continue where you left off easily. Once you are on a friend's server, simply claim a free tree to access your house, workstations and storage on that server. No, that's a feature we like a lot. And that's all for our great tree guide. If it was informative, we'd appreciate a thumbs up. 
And as always, feel free to comment, ask a question, subscribe, and even hit that bell for more videos.